Greetings. Uh, it's been a while, so I'm going to read uh, Leviticus chapter 20. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Again thou shalt say to the children of Israel, Whosoever he be of the children of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn in Israel, that giveth any of his seed unto Molech, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. And I will set my face against that man, and will cut him off from among his people, because he hath given of his seed unto Molech to defile my sanctuary, and to profane my holy name. What do you think that means, guys? Um, not sure what that means or what Moloch is, but uh, I guess I'll do some research on it. Uh, let's keep going. Verse 4. And if the people of the land do anyways hide their eyes from the man, when he giveth of his seed unto Moloch, and tell him not, that I will set my face against that man and against his family, and will cut him off, and all that go a flying after him to commit whoredom with Moloch among their people. And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits and after wizards to go a whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul and will cut him off from among his people. Sanctify yourselves therefore, and be ye holy, for I am the Lord your God, and ye shall keep my statutes and do them. I am the Lord which sanctify you. For every one that curseth his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. He hath cursed his father or his mother, his blood shall be upon him. And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. So yeah, um, just common sense, don't, don't, um, sleep with another man's wife or don't sleep with the neighbor's wife. Um, it's, it's, you know, even in today's world, it's looked at as pretty nasty. You can see it, you can even see it in the rap videos um, that it's pretty nasty to sleep with another man's wife or another neighbor's wife. You can even see it in the world, they, they, uh, they shun them. So yeah, let's keep going. Verse 11, And the man that lieth with his father's wife hath uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So if you if you keep doing what you're doing, sleeping with other people's wives, eventually the husband is going to get home. He's going to beat down the door and he's going to he's going to kick kick the other guy's butt because he was sleeping with with his wife and. Uh, he would, uh, he might knife you, he might stab you. So yeah, don't, uh, don't do that, because it's common sense. Let's keep going, verse 12. And if a man lie with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have rough confusion, their blood shall be upon them. So yeah, um, um, even like your, your stepdaughter, or your daughter-in-law, I'm kind of confused to his stepdaughter and daughter-in-law, but like, it seems like it would be like common sense like not to sleep with your stepdaughter or your daughter-in-law because that's like, uh, that's like cheating on your, on your wife. It is cheating on your wife, actually. Why well, have multiple wives with the wife's sister because, uh, because it's stupid. It's like having two of the same personalities um, being married to you, and that's kind of like, uh, you know, that's not kosher or nothing. You know? That's not kosher at all. Uh, let's keep going. Verse uh, 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So, yeah, um, you know. Uh, like even in even in the world, um, if a man sleeps with another man and they find out about it, they'll be like, "Oh, he's a fag. Let's go beat him up." Blah blah blah. You know, they're gonna like they're gonna like kick him, 
uh, punch him, jump him, whatever, you know. Let's keep going, verse 14. And if a man take a wife and her mother, it is witness, they shall be burnt with fire, both he and they, that there be no wickedness among you. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. If the, if the man take a wife and her mother, and they they do like a, like a three-way with, with them, that's, that's pretty disgusting. Like, a three-way within itself is disgusting, but a three-way with the wife and her mother, like, that's kosher. That's not kosher, you know. That's not kosher, that's disgusting. Uh, let's keep going, verse 15. And if a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death, and he shall slay the beast. So let's say you, uh, let's say you see, um, God forbid you see something like that, but like you go to, um, and you go to some place where people are, um, where people are prostituting um, themselves or having shows of themselves or whatever, and um, there's a woman sleeping with a beast in front of all these men because they have like a like a um, like a fetish for that. Like everyone's gonna go around and tell tell each other like, oh, did you see that woman sleep with that cow or whatever? And the cow defiled the woman. They're gonna go around telling everybody, and then eventually it gets to the the her her father or her mother. You know, be like, what did you do? Slap, you know. So yeah, um, that's what it means by blood shall be upon them. Let's keep going. Verse seventeen. And if a man shall take his sister, his father's daughter, or his mother's daughter, and see her nakedness, and she sees his nakedness, it is a wicked thing, and they shall be cut off. In the sight of the people, he hath uncovered his sister's nakedness, and shall bear his iniquity. Um, I'm not sure if anybody in San Diego um, does that incestuous crap, but I'm pretty sure it happens in the country somewhere. So, I mean, of course it's pretty nasty, like, you know, you would be like, um, later on in your years, say you, you did something when you were really young, Later on in your years, you might be like, "Oh, she did this to me. She she doesn't love me. You know that was that was that was the woman who gave birth to me. How can she do that? You know." So, um, so you you cut her off from from you cut you cut your mother off from me um, or your father or whatever because like no one related to you should ever do that to you. Let's uh, keep going, verse 18. And if a man shall lie with a woman having her sickness and shall uncover her nakedness, he hath discovered her fountain, and she hath uncovered the fountain of her blood, and both of them shall be cut up from among her people. Uh, I don't know how to write this. Uh, say they both have... Uh, let me reread re re verse 18 again. And if a man shall lie with a woman, having her sickness, I don't know, does that mean like, um, both of them have like, sickle cell anemia or something? And, let me keep reading. And shall uncover her nakedness, and, well let's say both of them have sickle cell anemia, and um, both of you have sickle cell anemia, you may, you create, child that has uh, that the child will definitely have the, the sick cell anemia trait or let's say you have like a disease that uh, like I don't know like like maybe like uh, you know but like um, you, both of you have like a sickness in your gene and create a child, the child is really likely to have like a sickness in the gene. So it's like, yeah, you know. I don't know how to read this, verse 18. Does anybody know how to read verse 18? 
If a man shall lie with a woman, having her sickness, meaning her period, and shall uncover her nakedness, he hath discovered her fountain, and she hath uncovered the fountain of her blood, and both of them shall be cut off from among her people. So yeah, that's pretty disgusting. Like you sleep with a woman on her period, and um, you get her blood on you, and that's like you know, it's pretty nasty. Let's keep going. Verse nineteen. And thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy mother's sister, nor of thy father's sister, for they, for he uncovereth his near kin; they shall bear their iniquity. Duh, you know, that's probably like in Alabama or something. Whoever is watching this in Alabama, I'm sorry. Verse 20. And if a man shall lie with his uncle's wife, he hath uncovered his uncle's nakedness. They shall bear his sin. They shall bear their sin. They shall die childless. <clears throat> um, and if a man shall take his brother's wife, it is an unclean thing. He hath uncovered his brother's nakedness. They shall be childless. Ye shall therefore keep all my statutes and all my judgments, and do them, that the land whither I bring you to dwell there, and spew you not out. So, um, regarding these other things, um, you don't want like a child with, uh, like, like an incest baby might have like a, like, like a brain deformity that causes them to die early, it, it does happen because of incest or whatever the case may be. Even like Down syndrome, uh, kids can um, more easily get Down syndrome through incest. So let's keep going. Uh, verse 23 And you shall not walk in the manners of the nation which I cast out before you, for they committed all these things, and therefore I abhorred him, abhor them. But I have said unto you, ye shall inherit their land, and I will give it unto you to possess it, a land that floweth with milk and honey. I am the Lord your God, which have separated you from other people. Ye shall therefore put a difference between clean beasts and unclean, and put unclean fells and clean and ye shall not make your souls abominable by beast, or by fowl, or by any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground, which I have separated from you as unclean. And ye shall be holy unto me, for I, the Lord, am holy, and have severed you from other people, that ye, shall, that ye should be mine. A man also, or woman, that hath a familiar spirit, Spirit, or that is a wizard, shall surely be put to death. They shall stone them with stones, their blood shall be upon them. So that means like anybody that anybody that uh, that does palm reading or anybody that does astrology, uh, and you both say you you have the same faith. But really, it's not because you believe in astrology. You believe in uh, you believe in uh, palm reading, and then the pastor sees you doing palm reading. He can say like, you know, I seem like you guys did. Get out of my church. Get out of my church now. So I'm gonna touch basis on the first part of um, Leviticus chapter 20. What do you think, uh, what do you think, uh, Leviticus, uh, 1 through 3? <coughs> and Moses spake unto Mo like, and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Again, thou shalt say to the children of Israel, Whosoever he be of the children of Israel, or of the strangers that sold him of Israel, that give any of his seed unto Mohammed, he shall surely be put to death. The people of the land shall stone him with stones. 
and three. And I will set my face against that man and will cut him off from among his people because he hath given of his seed unto mother to defile my sanctuary and to profane my holy name. So Moloch is a false god or a evil god. So he said, if you allow your children to worship another god. I'd rather do the seed and like sperm or something like, I don't know, like the seed and sperm. Gotcha. But maybe it's like don't worship another god, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can see how that is. All right, thank you for chiming in. Have a good night.